Okay, you love your house and you love the way it's situated and all that good stuff, but you don't have a door going in to the garage except for the big roll up. You've had a window all these years and you covered it up and everything. So right there, we, we use it to hang ornaments on and it's got plywood behind it because there's junk in there. But look at that little cubby at the top. It's a perfect spot to retrofit a door. Then we can get cute with our sidewalk here and clean things up around here, I tell you. So this project is going to be put a door in the side of your garage. Then when you start looking at your old house and say, mine's just like that, fellas, give me a call and I'll put one in yours too. Show you how to do it and lickety split. <laughs> okay, so you want to just go ahead and punch this through the wall here. You got a window, so you want to put a door. How hard can that be? Well, it's that hard. See, the height of that header is not high enough. So we're going to go up through the roof. And I showed you the other side. There's a peekaboo on there. But the roofing is in the way from the inside, so we're going to cut it back. You can see I've already started. Cut the rafters back. And we're going to level this out at the height of the door. Remember, that's the cubby. So the door is actually going to be so high you know, up here somewhere, but it's going to be inside the scope of that cubby that's already waterproof, it's roofed, stuccoed, so we have to be spot on. This section here, it's coming all the way down from the roof. It's got some weight on it, so we got to put a temporary post in there. It's nothing major, just a little post. That's why you have to head this out. see it move just slightly because this one's kind of going down there's weight there there's pressure you know so you get you gotta play smart people here now I gotta get these out of my way boy oh boy oh boy oh boy all right I'm gonna cut them again see don't you wish you were me tear things up a little bit okay your first head out piece, you want to nail it in first. Instead of putting a doubler, if you put a 4 by, then it's harder to nail. We're only going to be able to get Tico clips on the side of that. Things will never go anywhere. So I'm putting the second one in. Kind of sister it together, that's what they call it. bullets by code I'm sure some of you pros out there that are checking in on me to see if I'm any good I know by code this is incorrect but it's my house I live in America I want to do what I want you put a doubler this is true you do put a doubler here head out but the doubler has to go to a doubler I got a singler single okay it's a single it's not a double it's not, you know, if this was over here, it'd be a doubler. So it's a little bit of a cheat, but I guarantee you when uh, Jesus comes back, it'll still be here. It's not going to fall. It's not going to sag. Nothing. It's all bueno. But the codes, they're ridiculous and they're massive and they're good, but they're overkill. So I know this will work just fine for one little cutout for my door on the side of the garage. Okay. Clips here or hangers. If you don't have room for hangers, just do clips. Clips, they do make a double, but I don't have time to go shopping. Clips, look at all the nails in there. All that right there. Inspectors like to see all that shiny metal. Plus it works, it's there for a reason. This is gonna hold this up, all the weight transfers now over, or half the weight, whatever the calculation is. Okay, so now, now that we got it held up, don't forget to fasten things off before you take your temp post out. Okay, there it is. Post is gone. Roof is still there. Nothing has moved. Nothing moved. Resupported it. Bingo. Now I can cut this area out into my little peekaboo. 
Oh, I'm getting excited. It's getting exciting now. We're going to punch through the roof and see if we can see what's inside that cubby. Maybe there's a Mickey Mantle hidden up there. Hmm, that'd be nice. All right, I'll, ha I'll settle for a, you know, Hank Aaron or something else. Okay, there's the cubby from the inside. You guys thought I was joking with you, huh? Nope, this is how we got room to put a door eight inches up off the slab. So that puts us at this high where the header's gonna go. You're gonna see the header right up here, hopefully right under this baby. And then when you walk in right here, you won't hit your head on the roof. I mean, I think of everything, don't I? <laughs> okay, once you have all the little stuff out of the way, now you gotta cut the opening. This is the, this is the moment of truth. You're gonna cut the framing of the house, or actually in this case, the garage. The double top plate ties the whole house together. So this is kind of critical. Cut it right. I've already did my measurements. I'm going to replace this trimmer for this low window. Bingo goes up to the header, makes it the same size. That's how I knew this whole thing was going to work. So we got to cut it here and cut it there. Take this out, take this out, then we bust this all out. Frame it in. And we can put the door in. So there you go. You cut it out. Got your new header up high. Can you see it? Give me some light. New header up high. Cut it out. Cut out the sill for the window. Don't hit your head on that. Bingo. Break the stucco, boys. Clean up the garden. Put a door in. Okay, I know I'm pretty rough on everybody. Telling them how stupid they are and you know, I tell people, hey, don't do that, do this. And then I turn around and make a stoop. So you think about a door. The door is 36 inches. It's on a swing. It's got an open end. Man, stupid. 36 inches. I could have measured back to here. The door's going to hit this. It's lower than that. Don't tell anybody. Even the... Hot shots say, you know, make mistakes. So now I gotta take this out, cut it back up farther. I really don't want the door hitting it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't like doing things twice. But, and I, you know, try to slow down and think of everything and, and you hit your head on something. Man, man, that hurts. A little blood there, you know? Whatever. We're going to go to heaven someday. This is all going to burn anyway. But I sure like to get it right the first time. Okay, here's another little nightmare for you. Everything's out of plumb. You know, the door has to hang plumb, right? Straight up and down with the world. Spinning around, going crazy, but we can make things straight up and down. So that way the door swings only when you push it. It doesn't swing in on its own because it's out of plumb. You gotta get your door jam plumb. So you look at the wall and say, oh, let's just run the jam right up the wall. Oh yeah, it won't work. Guess why? Look how plumb this wall is. Okay, on the framing. Look at the framing of the house. Everything wants to fight you, you know? Just don't think there's a devil. Come on. Yeah. That's the house. I mean, killer. Now you jump over to your, your door where you're going to make it real. Plumb it. And it's out that much. This is plumb. This is, this is the house. It's out like an inch and a quarter down to the bottom. It's flush. I even went out a little bit. So, truly is out of plumb about an inch and a half. So, now i got to figure out how I'm going to do this transition here stucco mold, you know, J-metal, who knows. Got to be creative here. So I'm getting the old door hung a little bit. Getting close. And then uh, you got to open it and you hit the deal. So you got to move your header. But worse things have happened. I got to tell you though, you ruin people's plants, they're not happy. See the stucco patch? Will it be done by tomorrow? Because uh, 
you know, it's unsettling. Remodeling is unsettling. So don't start a project as you can finish it because there's nothing worse than an unfinished project. Perfection. That's what they want. Those homeowners. Okay, the bottom line is you got to make it right. Recut that header at the top. The door opens like it's supposed to. Look at that. So sometimes you go too fast or you just forget something. You got to make it right. Of course, it's got to be right. Okay, good news. After you work really hard, you pay people lots of money, it's going to be done. So we got the old uh, garage door in. And then we stucco patched it. I didn't show you that process, but you've seen it before. Check it out. Bingo. Look at that door. Man. Tell me what color it is. What color is the door? Some people say black. Some people who know better say purple. Dark purple. Look at that. It matches the front of the house. This particular house. To go with the black brick. Which has a hint of purple, right? Check it out. Remember, brick is a color. When you go to do your house, don't use red because it's boring. That funny jam that was out of plumb, I fixed it. You can't even tell. That's how good I am. The main thing is the door is hung plumb, <laughs> hanging properly, so it functions properly. You can't hang it crooked. This is the door that's taller than the wall. It does look a little peculiar, but I really don't care. I'm going to put a step here. You can walk in. And the, looks like this from the inside. And there you have it. Put a door in the side of your garage. And uh, I'll be happy. Okay. Told you I'd finish this job. we got to get a step in there. I'm tired of stepping in the garden. So we've got the form up. Got a couple of rebars stuck to the concrete there with epoxy. And uh, we're mixing some mud. So much fun. There you go. He cleaned it, now I put it in the mud. There we go. Go slow, baby, go slow. A little bit wet. Okay, it's not that complicated, people. Put the concrete in the ground, and now make sure you leave it low. See? That's where you're going to see. We're going to bring the brick veneer up to here, so we left it low. I think it'll be just fine. It'll be what it is. Okay, I just wanted to give you a, a look at how the step came out. And I'm not going to discuss all those little pieces. But when you make a door in the side of your garage, you have to think about more than just a door. So we've gone through the process of framing in there stucco patch hanging the door of course and then you got to step on the outside so then you go well it's kind of dark here so we need to put a light you have to hire an electrician unless you are one yourself and you can put the wire up there and run it over to the power source so that when the outside lights up your front of your house come on this one comes on also and then you go well when I come in the door there I need another step on that side so we got to put a step there and of course you know, you have to turn the lights on inside. So now you got to put a switch on the wall. There was already a switch over here because that's where it always was. Come in through the garage, bingo, switch. So I'm not going to come in here at night and have no light and walk over there to that switch. So now because I wanted a door in the side of my garage, I have to get an electrician to put a switch and wire it to the existing lights.